Bane impressions. What? You want the Sean Connery expression muffled up on yes, my mouth? Yes, of course. Come on, Mitch, get in on this, man. I want the number one, no lettuce, no pickles, an extra large fry. You sound like you're Middle Eastern, man. Oh, what the hell? Sound Indian. <laughs> Sounds nothing like Bane. Well, excuse me, you sound more like a teacher who shall rename anonymous right now. <laughs> nothing like that. Yeah. Well, she did. Quit lying. Oh, uh, you're talking about our math teacher. No! Roar. No, we're talking about you. Anyways, Roars. we can stop doing this now. We can stop doing this now. Yeah, we can stop doing that now. But it's so much fun. Stop you can. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, so. this is Behind the Wheel, episode two. We're gonna talk about comics today. We got Abel and Mitch in the back, who is doing something weird right now. He's Kenny. Yeah, he's Kenny. It's so black Kenny. Like, shouldn't your eyes be showing then instead of like your mouth? <laughs> 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 and we're here. To Today to talk about Thor, the Dark World. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, cover your ears. Spoiler alert! Well, yeah. well can we talk about spoiler free? So Jeff is Spoiler not... free. And... Well, it's kind of well, hard to talk about it without spoiling it, though. Yeah, cause so many good parts in that movie. Try not to spoil any of the big stuff, so... It's kind of hard not to, though. Captain America scene. Yeah. <laughs> That was the He's best. like, ah, a little tight here on the, you know, the tights here, but yeah. <laughs> then his voice changed to actual Steve Rogers. I'm like, yeah, America. I'm just picturing them calling him and be like, we need you for like a four minute cameo right now. I'd be like, all right, whatever. Well, did you see the <laughs> um, the trailer before the movie yeah, for Captain America, for like, Winter Soldier? Uh -huh. um, his costume looks awesome. Man. Of course. I just can't wait for him to actually introduce the Winter Soldier himself. Yeah. And hopefully I don't screw that up. Spoiler, like, the Winter Soldier is Bucky. No, really? Really? <laughs> uh, are we I actually didn't know that. You did? oh, Damn yeah. it. Yeah, Spo this is actually spoilers for, the, for, really for, spoilers. Excuse me, for Captain America. It's potential spoiler. For, potential spoiler for Captain America. Actually, no, it's not potential we spoiler. Never, we've not seen the movie, so we don't yeah, even know well, if they're going to do that. Well, if you actually uh, read yeah. comics or just like me, I'm a kind of a comic book nerd. I look hey. at Wikipedia stuff. I mean, it's kind of common knowledge, even in um, the video game, so the Ultimate Alliance, the little crappy ass game for the 360 that came out one time ago, it even has like in the files there that, you know, that Winter Soldier once upon a time is sidekick Bucky. The problem is though, they made Bucky older than what he really was in the original movie. I'm not complaining, it was still a good movie. It's just that yeah, attention to detail, yeah, it was supposed to be, you know, different. Because when he uh, falls in that ice lake, he. Uh Somebody picks him up, like the Russians or whatever. Exactly, and they, they reconstruct him mm -hmm. like with cybernetic implants. I'm pretty sure that's Mass Effect too. Yeah. That. You know, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the, the biggest plot twist ever. Yeah. The Russian Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you guys think of the movie? I liked it a lot. It was better than the first one, obviously, because nothing was actually rushed. It was actually more based upon the storyline, and I actually enjoyed Christopher Lestason's um, acting as a Dark Elf, the villain. Yeah. He actually did a really good job with that. So creepy. Malekith. Yeah, yeah with, so the, with the, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I liked it, honestly. He was um, so creepy, and then they're like, well, let's make him creepier. Let's burn half his face off, <laughs> and we can really scare all the children. Well, what yeah. really got me, though, is um, this is a movie based upon Thor, and I felt there was more Loki in it than there was Thor, honestly. Well, I mean, like, he was, like, a big hit with the last movie, and then, like, Avengers, like, everybody started noticing him, so he had to be, like, in there a little bit. But, yeah, I see what you kind of oh, mean there. of course, there. because Tom Hiddleston is amazing. Honestly. Yeah, he's really good. He's really a humble guy, amazing. He, he just, just... I know he's worth, you know, every dollar you put into him having in there, though, but it's just... That's, like, one of the memes I see is, like, going to go see Thor, but I'm there for Loki. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. Um, what do you think of it, Mitch? Um, I thought it was uh, it was really funny in some parts. That's what I like about uh, you know it's the difference between the first and the second one. The second one is a lot more funny. I felt like the first one was just like they spent a lot of time on Earth, and I think like the strongest parts were when they were off world and were on um, like his own home world and everything and doing all that kind of stuff. I think that for most of that last movie, he wasn't even Thor, and for this one, like. All that, most of the stuff took place on um, the different worlds, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, for the combining of all the different worlds and everything else, that was actually a really unique plot twist yeah. to the storyline, at least. And um, so, how do you feel about the ending? Did, well, first of all, that's actually a better question. 
who all uh, yeah. <laughs> who, all, who all actually stayed post credits um uh, i did i saw people leaving i'm like it's a marvel movie why are you walking out right now how about you Mitch? you stay past it yeah i saw it talking about the collector scene yeah, yeah what happened to me was i was at the epicenter in charlotte and i was enjoying a couple beers you know drinking watching a movie you know, having a good time yeah 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 and one of the guys working there says that yeah on opening night when Thor came out, no one stayed. Wow. Everyone left. That doesn't make any sense to me because you think people that came there would know, okay, I need to stay for this because there's always stuff at the end of these Marvel movies. Yeah, next question. Um, Done with spoilers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. One. Well, you're the one that always liked to find Stan Lee, right? Yeah. Close your ears. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, who else enjoyed it and thought it was appropriate for where Stan Lee's character was at? Oh, oh so the retirement home. Mental yeah, 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 mental yeah, hospital. Mental hospital. Yeah, mental hospital. I thought it was appropriate for that man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're a comic book, you know, creator. I mean, you kind of yeah. are a little half insane. So, <laughs> so to have him in there, I was like, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I guess moving into the next thing. Okay, next thing. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about Superman versus Batman right now. Are you guys excited <laughs> for that movie? Oh, the movie. I thought you were talking. Okay. Um, not if the same actor plays Superman. Oh, you didn't like him? I hated him. Oh, really? I did not like the Man of Steel movie at all. I gave up on Superman oh, after like the original one with like you know the John Williams theme. That Superman one, because that was like you know the original tights and you know f happy colors and underwears on the outside. You know, I mean, yeah. that's the kind of Superman I like. <laughs> um, th these new ones that make him seem like the you know, excuse me, I don't know if you want to use the word, but it's a pussy. <laughs> I don't, no, I don't no, know like, if I'd use those Superman. exact No, no, words. It's, like, it's like, you know, I'm Lois Lane, but Superman has a, you know, like, but Lois Lane has a boyfriend, though. What the hell do I do? You're Superman. You do what you want. I'm sorry, but you're super strong, and you can fly. You really think you that... You can fly. <laughs> boy, well, excuse me, you can jump really high. Whatever. It's just a ma matter of fact of, you know, this man has superpowers beyond belief, and he's worried about some, literally, a mere human they could snap like a twig. He's like, mm, what do I do? It's like the Spider-Man movies, you know, number two and three. It's like he became complete bitch status. Where's, where's that damn manpower at, you know? <laughs> they need to watch yeah. Mulan and get over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, ben Affleck, Batman, Batflex. It's one of those things where I can't judge until I see it. I had my disagreement at first, you know, like, oh, uh, you know, that, that, it, I mean, he fucked up Daredevil, so, excuse me, we screwed up Daredevil. And, and there's uh, no, like, you can say pretty much anything. I, 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 yeah. de I demand, then, that every time I cuss, you have to do an, you know, an homage to Epic Meal Time. Go, ah! Every time okay. I cuss. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, then. But, um, it's like I was saying earlier, like, it has to be, you know, I have to watch it, then judge it. I know. Because... You never know with some actors how well they pull off role. Like going back to the Batman movies, the only thing I really compliment with it about it was Anne Hathaway playing Catwoman. I was totally shocked because at first I'm like, eh, and then I'm like, ooh. That chick from the Princess Diaries? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how do you think the setting is going to take place exactly for the fight? I mean, like. How they're gonna meet? It's gonna be any of the comic books, like the cartoon shows we watched back in the day. I mean, do you think this would be like a prequel to like the Justice League maybe coming out in the series or what? I don't know. I think like this should be like they're talking about bringing in Nightwing too. I think this should only focus on like Batman and Superman and save that stuff for like all that extra crap we're talking about. Just save that for another movie. Don't try and fit everything into this one movie. <laughs> Kind of high oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't even see us. Good, yeah, good, good, good. Classmates yeah. walk right by the car. Yeah. Yeah. Keyword, no, I'm not going to say anything about it. Okay. Well, as long as you don't tell names, I can say something, right? I'm going to post this up on Facebook. And I'm well, friends with some of them, so. Well, as long as you don't tag them in it. Yeah, you don't be like, hey, names. Yeah. that's what we said yeah, about yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. All I can say is these classmates, bitch status. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no idea who just walked by us. Exactly. But yeah. yeah. But, um, the whole Nightwing thing. Um, I'm okay. With who they have selected for it from who the recent they have back. Selected. It's still Jordan goes. Uh, yeah, Jordan Gordon Levitt. You know, I don't yeah. have any problem with him. I mean, yeah, I think he, he was. Um, I I could literally see him as the Robin or Nightwing, but his story development is just well. I'm not gonna get on that soapbox. I mean, you all know before this that I do not like the Dark Knight series at all. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Chris Ward, the did. whole I world knew that. that. I heard oh, really? The whole world? Oh, I guess you're not part of it. I missed the memo. 
Okay, well basically I'll put it this way. The only things I liked about the Dark Knight series, very simple. It was Scarecrow, Two-Face, Catwoman, and who they selected for Robin. Other than that, everything else, shit. Hmm. Why? Because characters are wrong, development's all wrong, and again, they, they make superheroes seem like bitch status. Like, I go to Marvel and I see, you know, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, the Hulk even, hell, even Black Widow and Hawkeye. They're all badass status, you know, come at me bro kind of thing. Well, you, you gotta think, And you dude. look at Batman, he's like, the whole movie, like him crying because his back's broken. I'm like, this is really what I'm just come to watching is, you know, a man being upset because his bat's broken. And then, of course, this man has some, like, obviously some training to fight combat and to survive any kind of condition and it takes him multiple tries to climb out of a hole am i the only one that thought like dude you should be able to like, scale this easily why the hell are you having trouble well he's like out of training too like they said he's like broke cartilage in his leg and stuff and plus his back just recently been broken so yeah. i mean well then, okay fine i'll go to the next obviously topic but that one's actually about bane is um first of all he never needed a respirator it wasn't the tubes on his back that you saw in the comic book as a picture tutorial. It wasn't because he had a problem breathing or because he swallowed some shit, whatever it was. It was because.